in this uh, section we will talk about the next process that is absorption of digested food. We have seen that carbohydrates are broken down into simplest uh, sugars that is monosaccharides. So we will write down what exactly needs to be digested. Carbohydrates have been broken down into simple sugars like glucose, fructose, galactose and proteins are broken down into simplest units that is amino acids and fats are broken down into three things fatty acids glycerol and monoglyceride fats we need to understand how these substances, the simpler molecule, uh, molecules, get absorbed. To understand this, we will draw a simple diagram which represents <coughs> the elementary canal. And in elementary canal, we know that the cells have microvilli. We are not drawing the vill uh, villi here. We are just showing the microvilli. These, this is the brush border epithelium. <clears throat> and this area is the lumen. So all this digested material, it is here actually in the lumen part. And we want to understand how these things get absorbed. Glucose absorption is an active process. So this is this glucose which is here. It gets absorbed and finally it is poured into the blood vessel or it is absorbed by the blood. So this glucose is going to come into the blood. The process by which this absorption takes place is active. Now, how is this glucose absorbed actively? That we will understand separately. So, here we will write down absorption of glucose. <clears throat> glucose absorption takes place by co-transport or symphote. Co-transport or symphote. What exactly is this method? When we talk of plasma membrane and a protein which is called sodium potassium pump. This is sodium potassium pump. After expenditure of 1 ATP, the energy which is given out is used to pump 3 sodium ions out in exchange of to potassium ions. Because of this, there is a high concentration of these potassium, sorry, sodium ions on the outer side. So, sodium ions are more on the outer side. So, again, after this movement, what is happening is <coughs> sodium ions accumulate on the outer side. And they would tend to move from higher concentration to lower concentration. When the sodium ion comes in with the help of sodium pumps, they bring glucose along with them. Now, we call this an active process because the higher concentration of sodium was attained or achieved because of expenditure of ATP. So this can be considered as the direct active uh, transport or primary active transport. Due to this ATP expenditure, sodium ion concentration was higher on the outer side. When these ions diffuse from or move from higher concentration to 
lower concentration again through proteins they bring glucose in and both these molecules that is sodium ions and glucose they are coming in through the same protein that is sodium pump in the same direction and that is why we have used the term co-transport or sim, uh, symport. So when we say active transport, glucose actually comes in along with sodium ions which were sent out with expenditure of ATP and that is why we are considering glucose absorption as active process. Fructose molecules, they are taken in by facilitated diffusion. So they come into the cells and then into the blood vessels with the help of a process called facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion means where there is a carrier protein which is helping in the transport of this fructose without expenditure of energy. So if we have to understand absorption of fructose, we will draw the plasma membrane structure. These are the phospholipid molecules and say there is an extrinsic protein. This is the extrinsic protein. This protein binds with fructose molecule. This is fructose. And the protein is going to move from its place. It is going to come in and it is also bringing that fructose along with it. So this is the fructose which is coming here. And once it comes inside, it releases that fructose in and this protein then goes back to its original position. So here it is carrier mediated but there is no involvement of energy and that is why we are calling it facilitated diffusion that is for fructose, mannose and all. Galactose also gets absorbed in the same way that is active absorption. Amino acids, amino acids are here and their absorption is also by active process that is with expenditure of energy. Fatty acids, glycerol and monoglyceride fat. Fat, sorry, glycerol absorption is simple by diffusion. So this is taken in by diffusion. Reason, it is fat soluble and that is why it can come through the plasma membrane in the easiest possible manner. The most important absorption or the method is for fatty acids and glycerol or sorry monoglyceride fats which are hydrophobic particles and their absorption takes place in a very specific manner. So now we will take up the absorption of these two.